Hi there, my name's Tom Morgan and this is the Ubiquiti Unify APAC Pro, the access point. Um, so this is not a review of the unit, but it is a, an unboxing um, and just a description of what's in the box because I couldn't find anything like that available before I ordered it and I'm the kind of person that likes to see all this stuff ahead of time. So um, so anyway, this is the this is the box. Um, so it's the uh, it's it's the pro one, um, which means you, it's kind of dual radio, um, and and various other things. So on the back of the box, you can see there's some stuff around the features. Um, so you can mount it indoors or outdoors. Um, I did look at the outdoor installation. Um, it does need to be under eaves or kind of protected, so that's worth kind of bearing in mind. Um, so you've got simultaneous dual, dual band um, radios. A range of up to 122 meters, uh, and it's powered by, uh, it, you know, it's powered by power over Ethernet. Um, so, uh, so I've not opened this yet, so um, I've no real idea what I'm find, what I'm going to find. So, here we go. We can see the um, the hologram on there as well. That means it's a genuine Ubiquiti product. So, let's slide this vanity cater packaging off. Once we've done that, we get the kind of brown cardboard box underneath. Okay, let's have a look. What have we got? So we've got uh, a little brochure around software-defined networking, which is nice, um, and some other things in here. Um, and then we're straight into the unit itself. So, <clears throat> okay, so. First thing, it's pretty light. I'd say it's under a kilo. Um, so we have the unit here. It's also thinner than I thought it was going to be. So let's get the let's get the tape measure out. So so I would say top to bottom, and it's kind of hard to line up. But I'd say it's probably no more than four centimeters uh, at its highest point. No less than that. Three three centimeters probably. So it's um. Yeah, it's kind of nice profile. So there's a on the back here. This looks it's got a bit of giving it. So I imagine that's the the kind of fitting plate. So maybe it slides, maybe it doesn't. Um, I might have to read the instructions to find out what to do with that. Um, but it doesn't seem to kind of come straight off. But you can look down here. So I don't know if you can see, but there's an RJ45 cable just there. There's actually a USB cable there as well, so I don't know what that's about. Um, and here we've got a metal metal mounting plate. Um, got the quick start guide. Come back to that in a minute. Uh, uh, we've got what looks like a weather kind of protector for the back bit. Um, I imagine that kind of goes in to plug up all the all the sockets and stuff. It's kind of rubbery. And it looks like as well that we have a power over Ethernet adapter as well. So if you don't have power over Ethernet, um, you need to use this along with the along with the cable they provide, which is nice. Now this is obviously a UK box because I get a UK cable, um, so your mileage may vary there. And some screws, some long ones there, and some wall mounting screws as well with the with the wall plugs. All right, so I think that's everything. So let's look at the, let's come back to the quick start guide then. Um, and so we've got the things like there, the installation requirements. So there's some good notes here actually, which I'm just gonna zoom in on um, for the, uh, the outdoor installation requirements, which is worth knowing if you are thinking of mounting it outside, there are obviously some caveats there um, around it being under eaves and not in a, um, not in a completely open environment. So that's worth mentioning because that was something I was thinking of doing actually. I was considering mounting this outside, but I've decided not to now. I'm going to find a, a good place for it inside. There's some notes here if you're upgrading from a previous version. Um, so there's some things about the ports. So oh, there are actually two ports. I didn't notice that. So two RJ45 ports. Yeah, there are. There's there's one there. I need to find a way of getting this mounting, this backing plate off really. Um, so I'll just pull it. No, that doesn't seem to work. Oh, I reckon if that goes up like that. 
be a lot easier to see what's going on. There we go. So there's a little bit there. If you pull that up, it'll slide. So, so that's a little bit better, isn't it? Um, so now you can see there's um, this one's this one says main and this one says secondary. And then in the middle there's a USB and there's a reset button as well. So according to the according to the quick start guide here, the um, the secondary port is um, it's a gigabit Ethernet port and is used for bridging, and the USB port is reserved for future use. And then the main one is where you obviously put your internet or your network cable. All right. So this is it's kind of a rubbery plastic feel. It's quite nice actually, um, but it's not just plastic. It's slightly rubberized. Um, and and yeah, you can see the Ubiquiti logo there. And then I believe, let's just have a quick look, but I believe there's some LED lights and stuff. It all lights up. So there's like a blue ring that comes around the middle there. Um, so you know what's going on. And it's white or it's blue, um, depending on what's going on, what's happening. So yeah, and then, oh uh, yeah, this makes more sense now. Look, this goes, the, the rubbery bit just kind of fits nicely in there. Um, I guess you, oh, okay. So that makes, you kind of take this bit out for your cables if you're mounting it flush, and then you can pop that in afterwards to keep everything nice and dry. Okay. So that is the, the Ubiquiti Unify um, APAC Pro, kind of in all its glory, um, with the, the brackets and the metal mounting. And remember also as well the, the power of Ethernet converter if you sort of adapt it if you, if you need it. Great, so I hope that's been useful. Um, carry on watching uh, my YouTube channel because I'm going through a bunch of different Ubiquiti products at the moment um, in setting up my, my network. So there'll be others coming. Thank you.